See him? <laughs> he tried to capture the mother raccoon first. He caught her. But she got loose. I was even more scared that I was going to get bitten or scratched by it. Let's try not to break anything. Hold on. I want to move the lava lamps. Oh. There goes the lava lamp. I'm bring the cage in here, right? Man, that thing is tough, man. That's the mother. You can see all the all the things. I want to kill it. No, let's not kill. Let's just get it out. Oh. Felt like she was the biggest danger, just trying to protect her babies. So I felt like that was a big weight off our shoulders. And now the attention is towards the babies. Aw, he's a cute little guy. The first baby raccoon that was captured was probably the cutest little thing in the world. <laughs> cute little guy that terrorized my house. Oh, yeah, sure, man. Look at you, look what you did. It looked harmless, but uh, not, not so much the second one. <laughs> oh, Nani, watch out, Nani. Nani. I can get a bigger beaten. No. <laughs> I don't care. Look. Hold on. Look. No, we got all three. Oh, you got Yeah, look. The animal control officer told me that the raccoons had been nesting above the oven because it's very warm. And as the babies started growing, the ceiling couldn't take it and it eventually caved in. It felt really awesome to finally figure this out. I mean, it was huge. This, this was keeping us awake at night for months. It was such a relief to know that I wasn't crazy or there weren't any evil spirits or anybody trying to break in the house. The animal control officer released the three raccoons back into the wilderness. Since the raccoons were removed that day, the only animals that are in my house are the animals I want in my house. 